Globally, the major source of funds to run government organs effectively has always been through revenue generated directly or indirectly through taxes. The appropriateness of coming up with different names for the same tax by federal, state and local government agencies, ministries among others, despite clear legislation that outlined lists of taxes and levies to be collected by the three tiers of government, has continued to generate debates. A recent study conducted by Stakeholders Democracy, Democracy Network, SDN, uh, Youth and Environmental Advocacy Center, and uh, CCADI, has shed light on the debilitating effects of multiple taxation on businesses in River State. At the unveiling of the report in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, the study findings paint a grim picture with 65% of businesses believing they pay multiple taxes, resulting in financial strain and operational difficulties. Many traders and transporters in the state reportedly expressed worry over incessant collection of taxes and levies, especially by touts and market unions. Friend, there are plenty of them. They're not, they're not two, they're not three, they're not four. Plenty of them serving us different papers and they'll say each paper is 10,000, 15,000. Maybe when you plead with them, they'll collect like 7,000 naira or 8,000 naira. So the thing is just tiring. We don't know who to, who to pay to. We don't, need, we don't know the legal ones. We don't know the ones that are real. We're just tired of the whole thing. Take example. This one we have River State Board of Internal Revenue. This one we have Obiagbo ticket. That one is from council. I don't know whether government, uh, River State government is away uh, because we can't get access to them. This one we have Rumola Park maintenance ticket. It's only for Rumola. If you carry this very one now to another unit like Rumokoro, my one, they will get you uh, binding one place. This normal one we have, which everybody knows this one is National Union. You understand? But the whole of this ticket now, I'm sincere to you, is 900 and something. Like uh, the guy I'm selling, this um, German guy for four days, for my trade, that four days cannot send it free. And for that week, they will come and collect uh, uh, 500 naira. For a week, 500. For a week, 500. Four weeks, it's affecting me. In a bid to alleviate the sufferings of businesses and citizens, the senior project officer of the network, Flora Asieri, in an interview with Newsmen, said there's need for the River State Government to harmonize the state and local government tax collection system. We are launching um, our report, so we did um, a research on multiple taxation in River State. And then we are also preferring solutions. We need things to go digital. So in terms of payments, to reduce the issue of multiple taxation in River State, they have to digitize you know, payment platform for reverse people. There also have to be you know, punitive measures that will be met out to people who are illegally collecting taxes. And I'm talking about you know, the touts you know, and other people who illegally collect tax from you know, reverse people. And then there needs to be sensitization about you know, the platform to get down to the grassroots. So a lot of business owners community members, women, youth, they need to be aware of this platform so that they can pay their taxes and then it's going to be a win-win situation both for the business people and also for the government. Yes. The collection of taxes have become uh, a means of rewarding uh, political uh, support, you know, for those who needed the government to come into power. You know, government needs to understand that it is losing more than it is gaining. Because uh, most of the uh, monies that are paid to these uh, so-called consultants and tax agents goes into their private pockets, and that uh, you know so changes the state, you know, and uh, deprives the state from resources to deliver uh, infrastructure and social services to the citizens. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.